Thank you for your interest in the Raider Outboard's 50 horsepower safety jet. This video is intended as a basic overview of the installation of the safety jet. Please refer to the owner's manual for detailed installation instructions. Before beginning the installation process, ensure that all necessary parts and tools are readily available. A full list of the required parts and tools can be found in the owner's manual. Before the safety jet can be installed, the propeller must be removed from the motor. First, remove the cotter pin and castle nut from the prop shaft. Next, remove the washer and stopper from the prop shaft. Remove the propeller and the thrust washer. Retain the thrust washer for reinstallation. Remove the trim tab anode from the lower unit. Install the stator bolt inserts into the stator bolt holes with the offset portion facing inwards. Slide the V-block over the upper exhaust arm of the stator and guide the stator into place over the propeller shaft. Insert the 10 millimeter bolts into the stator bolt inserts and hand tighten. Evenly tighten the upper and lower bolts until snug. Using a torque wrench, tighten the bolts to 10 foot pounds. Apply grease to the brass impeller spacer and push it into place inside the stator. Install the impeller ensuring that it spins freely, followed by the washer and castle nut. Be sure to install the cotter pin into the castle nut. Install the modified trim tab anode using the 10 millimeter bolt from the original anode. Apply anti-seize to each of the captive bolts on the nozzle before aligning them with the bolt holes on the stator. Tighten the nozzle bolts evenly to complete installation. Thank you for your interest in the Raider 50 horsepower safety jet. For more detailed installation instructions, please refer to the owner's manual.